clicking. I am Neharika. Well, all our lives we have learned that the gold is uh, the sign of beauty, power and purity. Now in English also, it holds a lot of importance. We have a lot of expressions with the word gold. So in this lesson today, we are going to learn six expressions using the word gold that can be used in your conversation. So let's get started. Let's have a look at the first expression, which is all that glitters is not gold. Now this is a proverb. And when do you use it or how do you use it in English? Well, you can say it for the things which look very attractive to you. But then guess what? Not necessary that they are genuine or valuable. So just because something looks very attractive, hmm, it's not probably genuine or valuable. For example, the glamour industry. Ooh, it looks amazing right people look so happy who belong to that industry and somewhere in the heart you feel that oh i wish i was a part of this industry but then here i use the proverb all that glitters is not gold so even if something looks attractive not necessary that it is genuine okay Alright, so that's how you can use this proverb. Let's move on to another expression with the word gold, that is have a heart of gold. Now there are certain people that we come across who are so kind, so loving and absolutely charming. Like for example, my neighbor, she is such a nice person and she really has a heart of gold. So if you do come across people who are very kind and genuine and absolutely loving, then please do mention it to them by saying that, oh, you really have a heart of gold. So this expression can be used for a kind or a loving person. My dad really has a heart of gold. He's just so loving and so kind, right? So this is the way you can use this expression in English. Let's move on to the third expression, which is gold digger. Now, who is a gold digger? Well, a woman who extracts money from men by showing her charm. Now, a beautiful woman whose interest is just money. She wants her man to buy her expensive gifts, diamonds, solitaire, designer clothes. Then she is a gold digger. So if you know a woman who has no love for her man, but has love for his money, then you can call her, oh, you are a gold digger, okay? So a woman who extracts money, showing her charm to men, okay? The next expression that I have for you is be as good as gold. Now this expression is generally used for kids, for children. Now this expression is not used for old children, only for the children who are very well behaved. Yes, at times kids can be very hyperactive and can be really crazy, but then there are certain kids who behave really well. Like they know their manners, they respect their elders, and still they are so cute and adorable. So for children who are very well behaved, you use the expression, they are as good as gold, okay? So you kind of compare these well-behaved kids to gold, okay? 
let's move on to the fourth expression which is go for gold when do you use this expression when you are trying to encourage someone motivate someone to achieve something big so probably your friend is starting up a new business and you really want him to be successful and it's time to motivate him and it's time to encourage him so you're gonna say john go for the gold so here you're asking him to do your best and achieve your goals now uh, this expression is also used for the sports people okay so someone who plays different types of sports and uh, when you say that go for gold especially their coach would say that go for gold it means that uh, he or she uh, the coach is trying to motivate them encourage them to attain a gold medal okay so to perform really well so that they are awarded with a gold medal okay let's move on to the next expression which is worth its weight in gold so you use this expression to talk something which is very valuable now if you talk about gold yes gold is very valuable super expensive and you have to really buy it but then when you compare something with gold it means that this thing is very valuable to you For example, um, this is a book, okay? I have a very nice book and probably you don't get it uh, in the market anymore. And people really want to read this book and are really looking forward to buy this, but they're not getting it. And I have it. Yay, I do have it. So it is so valuable to me that I am comparing it with gold because gold is expensive, because gold is very powerful and valuable. I can use this expression by saying that this book is worth its weight in gold. Okay, so some things which are way too valuable to you in your life, you can compare it to gold. All right. So these are the six expressions that you can use. Let's just quickly go through it again. All that glitters is not gold, which means if something looks very attractive to you, not necessary that it's genuine. And then we also have have a heart of gold. So this expression is used for someone who is a very genuine and a very kind, loving person. We have gold digger. Well, used for the women who attract men, but only for money. And then we have be as good as gold. It's used for these amazing, adorable, well-behaved kids. And we have go for gold. This expression is great when you want to motivate or encourage someone. And then the last expression is worth its weight in gold. Well, you use it when something is very valuable to you okay so start using these glittering terms in your english and make your english very colorful and i'll be back with a new lesson soon till then you take care